Hey, how you guys doing? Buzzing Zombie here, and you might be thinking, why is Buzzing making a video about the next Treyarch game, which is in 2015? Well, I've been seeing a few videos online about it, and I think it's probably because of the fact that uh, Advanced Warfare hype train isn't really doing much. In fact, I don't think it's actually left the station at the moment. So, um, a lot of people are uploading about the possibility of uh, it being in World War Two era, and uh, it's going to be called uh, World at War Two. Uh, some people are saying it might be called Black Ops 3 and I've actually come to a pretty interesting sort of conclusion here now I've used just facts here there's not really any speculation so I want to run you through everything that I found and I would have uploaded this video um, when the cutscene was actually like uh, discovered uh, back when Origins uh, was released but I wasn't actually gaming at the time and uh, I wasn't going to make a video about this just to sort of reiterate what everyone else has been saying. Oh, if I was going to upload, I was going to upload because I'd found something interesting and new and I have got a bunch of new stuff. So be sure to hit that like button if you found this video interesting and also subscribe and favourite as well. These things help my channel out a lot. I'm such a small channel but uh, I think my content is pretty decent so uh, if you could help me out that would be awesome. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. I wanted to use technology that is included in this cutscene to be able to pinpoint the era in which this is actually set and I didn't find any technologies that would suggest that this is actually in the future or any time post World War II era there wasn't any hover scooters or anything like that uh, I thought that maybe this was kind of like a, a retro future like uh, in Dishonored where you thought that it was kind of in the past but the more you played the game you realised it was actually in the future and I didn't find anything like that at all. So I want to show you the technologies that I did find. And the first thing that I found, it didn't really take too long, but I did this frame by frame, so that's how I actually came across this. The lighting just there that I'm showing you is actually a, an old style of lighting. Now, you obviously can't see the bulbs, so you could argue, well, you don't know what the bulbs are, but it doesn't look futuristic. It looks like a, a 1940s, 1950s style light and uh, that's pretty obvious and it, that ties in with the candles as well you know why would they be using candles if it was in the future although that's what made me think it might have been a retro future so yeah um, but then the next thing is really really interesting I haven't seen this on YouTube so if you actually hit the like button just for me finding this then that would be cool so this is actually an audio I'm gonna play now and you have a listen to it and see if you can spot what I spotted listening to this audio You better do what your dad says. Okay, so they have some audio from who you believe it to be Maxis, but no names were ever mentioned in that. The only thing that was mentioned is Eddie says to Samantha, you better do what your dad says, and that's it. Uh, what um, Maxis was saying was to close the window. Uh, I'll get into what he says a little bit later on in the video, but for now I want to talk about... Uh, the little clicks that you heard at the beginning and at the end and that signifies that that was actually record well it wasn't record that was Maxis talking through an intercom and that blew my mind because I hadn't seen anybody on YouTube mention that and what that means is that you, there's another bit of technology there for you to tie in like a, a time frame and intercoms are actually being used and invented around the World War 2 era that actually been invented way before that and that is really really awesome and you can from that deduce something like why would they have an intercom in a house if it was a small house you wouldn't need an intercom so it's probably a, a large house and he, if he is a doctor then he'd probably be spending a lot of time in a laboratory and if he's working from home and his home has a laboratory then then you could say that oh that's why he needs an intercom now these things are obviously speculating from the fact that this is an intercom it could be that he doesn't have a laboratory in his house or he doesn't have a small house but that's the most likely that it's either a large house or he um, has uh, somewhere where he spends a lot of time and he needs to communicate through the house so that is actually really really awesome and that's the technologies that I managed to find within this uh, cutscene now I want to talk about the the posters and what's actually included in this and uh, how that ties in with the whole idea of it being in World War Two era Okay, I want to talk about the posters first, uh, and then I'll talk about like the objects and that that are inside the room. But there's a couple of posters here that don't make sense, and these are what led me to believe that this was actually set in the future. Like, how could it possibly be World War II era 
if there's an Apache gunship on the wall, that didn't make any sense to me. And a lot of people said for that reason, it's definitely going to be in the future. Oh, not in the future, sorry. It's going to be post-World War II era. But from doing a lot of research, I've been actually able to find that there were gunships like that being produced at the end of the World War II era. And the idea for these uh, helicopters has actually been around for some time, uh, almost a decade well, over a decade. So this was actually a German thing, which is very, very important. Um, these were uh, being mass, produ mass produced in uh, the 19 uh, in 1944, um, and I'll show you uh, on screen here the image of it. And it's very similar to the image that's actually uh, on the uh, poster. Now that is a big find. I couldn't believe it when I found that. I thought, wow, that's just proving that completely because the Germans were actually mass producing these it's not just like oh it was actually in the pipeline these things were being built but they didn't actually see it into use in the second world war because Germany by this time were getting their asses kicked and they couldn't put these things in the air to make a difference so that that's a, a big point that I want to make that these things were being produced and mass, produ mass produced so and the fact that, you know, there's a doctor in this uh, cutscene, uh, Dr. Maxis, Professor Maxis, you know, if anyone's going to have information on this, it would be him. And that's why the poster is on the wall, because, you know, the uh, Nazi propaganda machine, they're going to want people to know that they've got this really awesome, cool weapon, even though it didn't actually get into uh, service. Uh, yeah, so uh, I want to point out another poster here now, and that is the Napalm poster here. Now when I saw this I was so sure that it was going to be set within the Vietnam War and actually looking at it and reading uh, little clips from uh, Wiki you can actually see that this was actually being used in World War II although it wasn't extensively used it had been used and uh, you can see from uh, Wiki that it was actually developed in 1942 which is insane I didn't know that so people are saying that because there's napalm, there's a poster of napalm on the wall, that that doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be set within a, a Vietnam War sort of time frame. And that's the first thing that you think of when you hear the word napalm. That was the first thing that springs to mind was uh, that war. But it isn't actually the case that it had actually been developed way before that. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that and just to show you that that doesn't prove that it's going to be set after World War II, it had been in use before Vietnam. Okay, now I want to talk about uh, objects in the room, and unfortunately this is where my argument starts to unravel a tiny little bit, uh, but I can prove that everything actually in the room is from World War II era, although the maps from Black Ops were from a later date, and you could argue that uh, if this is taking place in the imagination of these children's children within uh, the World War II era that how would they know about events in the future but I can show that the actual objects in the room were from that time period even though the actual games that they were playing were from a later date so as you see here like this is the um, space shuttle from Ascension and you'll say oh well you know how could they have a space shuttle in their room if this is from the 1940s well actually space travel was actually being talked about um, it was being developed by the Nazis and the Germans. Uh, they had the Vengeance 2 rocket, uh, which was a, a very crude rocket, and they were actually putting together a space program as well. Um, this was talked about in um, sci-fi from movies way before World War II. Uh, there was uh, Voyage dans la Lune, uh, which was a French movie from uh, 1902, I believe, uh, and then later than that, there was actually a German movie called uh, Woman in the Moon, and that was from 1929. So as you can see, like there's all these bits of art, so it's not hard to imagine then that they have a, a rocket, because there was rockets in the arts, and there's uh, Nazi Germans that are trying to put together a space program, and they've actually been to developing rockets. You know, they had this rocket uh, in existence, the Vengeance 2 rocket, so it's not hard to believe then that they could actually have this toy in their room, although the whole idea of Ascension the map is actually talking about putting monkeys into space, that's the bosses that come at you and try and steal your perks, those pesky little things. Yeah, uh, that didn't actually happen until uh, 1949, 
um, that was when the first monkeys were actually launched into space and you know how could they know about an historical event in the future but then again I say that that's from an, another game this isn't like the world at war game and this is taking place in their imagination so maybe they could sort of imagine that they'd be putting monkeys into space uh, but I don't know that's where it all starts to unravel a tiny little bit but I can prove that everything in this room is from that time period uh, if you want to leave a comment and say what you actually think about that yeah another object I want to talk about is actually the moon and how I saw this in a video and someone said that the moon outside the window is there because uh, it's to do with Doris that this is actually when Doris takes place but the eclipse in Doris is supposed to be taking place around 1945 or the end of 1945 but the war actually ended like Germany surrendered on the 7th of May 1945 and I don't think that's possible for that time period to be accurate I don't think that is true I think that there's an eclipse outside the window and everything in this everything in this cutscene is taking place for a reason everything there is for a reason and I believe that that eclipse is there because it's something that has been transferred over into these children's games if you remember it's actually on Shangri-La as well so and the zombies appear because of element 115 I don't think that the zombie apocalypse is starting now because of the eclipse but I could be really wrong and I probably am but that's why I think that that isn't the case that that doesn't set a time frame for this cutscene. Um, another thing that I believe that does set a time frame is the audio that I played earlier and I said I was going to get back to this and that's what I'm going to talk about now is where Maxis says uh, close the windows and go down to the basement so people are saying that that is the case because there's a zombie attack about to happen that uh, the zombies come in and they need to close the windows and they need to go to the basement but that actually didn't make sense to me because if there's a zombie attack coming then there's no boarding on the windows which has been through the zombie games and why would you go to the basement because you're trapping yourself if I was in a zombie apocalypse I wouldn't go to the basement I would go to the roof I'd close every single door and board all the windows and make sure that I'm not going to get myself cornered and that's why I think that that isn't the case also the siren doesn't sound like it's like futuristic or anything like that it sounds like a an old style World War II siren and I think that this is actually a blackout procedure now blackout procedures were put in place during World War II when uh, both sides the Nazis and the RAF were bombing each other and people didn't want light going up to the sky for the bombers to be able to drop bombs on them which was actually cities uh, they weren't military targets they were cities and uh, they didn't want to, uh, the enemy to be able to navigate as well so I think that that's what they're doing but there's no blackout blinds uh, or anything like that um, they would close the window uh, then they would close the, these really thick curtains and uh, they close the window because they don't want the wind to like blow the curtains open and they would also have uh, like in some cases the windows would actually be painted black um, but yeah that's what I think it is anyway guys it's, a, it's a, a blackout procedure and you would also go to somewhere safe like a, a bunker, like an air raid shelter or a basement and um, by the sounds of it this Maxis has a, a big house with because uh, he has the intercom uh, he would obviously have his own sort of uh, provisions for this kind of thing and we're able to actually get a place now but this is really cool because I said that this is taking place or probably taking place at the end of World War 2 now at the end of World War 2 the bombings weren't taking place over London anymore the bombings were taking place over Berlin and that is cool that we can actually get a place now now this is all saying you know if that's true before then it follows that this is true now so this is all sort of like hinging on the fact of the facts beforehand if that makes sense but yeah guys uh, let me know what you think I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will be bringing you more zombies content and I will be bringing you more advanced warfare content as soon as stuff comes out I'm not going to be speculating too much about that anymore but if we do see some gameplay and some reveals then I will bring you that straight away so yes, stay tuned guys. Peace out. Take it easy.